Halloween, the great American tradition designed to get the kids costumed up out of the house and loaded up with candy for a bit of fun devil worshipping. Or is any of that true? I'm Stu, this is Debunked, and we're here to sort the truths about the myths and the facts about the misconceptions about Halloween. Number 6. Halloween is an American custom. The celebration of Halloween goes back hundreds of years before Europeans even discovered America. The pre-Christian, Gaelic-speaking peoples of Ireland marked the start of winter on November 1st with the festival of Samhain. They believed this was the time when the souls of the dead could return to our world. After the Gaelic-speaking peoples of Ireland, Scotland and Isle of Man had converted to Christianity, they continued their pagan parties. The Catholic Church conveniently moved the celebration of All Saints' Day to November 1st, which was originally known as All Hallows' Day in medieval England. Thus, October 31st became known as All Hallows' Eve, or Halloween for short. When Europeans emigrated to North America, they took their religion and pastimes with them. In particular, the waves of Irish and Scottish settlers in the 18th century led to Halloween becoming a grand American tradition in the 1800s. Nevertheless, a lot of activities we associate with Halloween have an American flavour. For instance, the first recorded mentions of trick-or-treating are from Canadian newspapers in the 1920s. Meanwhile, pumpkins originated from Central America, so couldn't have been carved into jack-o'-lanterns by medieval Europeans. Number 5. Jack-o'-lanterns have always been pumpkins. Jack wasn't always a pumpkin head. He was originally a turnip, or any other seasonable root vegetable grown in Ireland. A letter from 1640 describes a turnip cut like a death's head with a candle in it. The turnip tradition continued until quite recently. You can see a plaster cast of a ghost turnip from 1900 in the National Museum of Ireland. Nathan Mannion, the head of exhibitions at the Irish Emigration Museum, says, Metal lanterns were quite expensive, so people would hollow out root vegetables. Over time, people started to carve faces and designs to allow light to shine through the holes without extinguishing the ember. The name jack-o'-lantern might come from the 17th century British nickname for Night Watchman. It might also have been another name for Will-o'-the-Wisps, the mystical sprites that lead wayward travellers to their deaths in marshland or just spontaneously combusting swamp gas. The name Jack O'Lantern might come from the tale of Stingy Jack. He was an 18th century Irish folk figure who went to hell, but tricked the devil into letting him go with an ember of coal in his turnip lantern to illuminate his eternal journey between worlds. The tradition of carving faces into vegetable lamps could go back to gruesome pre-Christian times. It may even have evolved from the custom of head veneration, or potentially even represented war trophies taken from your foes. Pretty horrifying stuff. Number 4. Halloween costumes are just for fun. Whether a bedsheet with eye holes, a dime store mask, or a seriously scary outfit worthy of the Met Gala, it's fun to dress up at Halloween. But spooky costumes might go back to the very serious origins of Halloween nearly 2,000 years ago. Archaeologist Dr. Daniel Curley says, Monsters and manifestations would emerge at Halloween. Locals would stay indoors in fear of being dragged into the other world. If you had to go outside, you wore a costume and a mask to look hideous. That way you would be left alone and not dragged into the other world. In Scotland, this may have been preserved in the tradition of guising, whereby children go out on Halloween to sing a song, tell a story or joke to neighbours while disguised by a mask. Number 3. Dia de los Muertos is the Aztec Halloween. Halloween is very similar to Dia de los Muertos in Mexico, which is celebrated on November 1st and 2nd. In fact, it's so similar that many people think the ancient Aztecs celebrated Halloween too. However, the Day of the Dead as we know it certainly comes from 16th century Spanish settlers practicing their Catholic traditions of All Saints and All Souls Day. But it may have adopted elements of an indigenous festival. The Aztec calendar devoted two months, what Europeans called August and September, to remembering the dead, one for adults and one for children. This may explain why Mexico unusually dedicates All Saints Day to children and All Souls Day to adults. Number 2. Trick-or-treating was always for kids. 
Trick or treating is fine fun for kids, as they gobble up candy from adults who are too afraid to say no in case their house gets covered in toilet paper, eggs, or worse. But the tradition of going to neighbours at Halloween to receive food begins with adults. In 16th century Britain, on November 2nd, known as All Souls Day, paupers would go begging at the doors of their fellow townsfolk for food in exchange for praying for their dead relatives. Known as souling, over time this practice became the preserve of poor children, who would be given soul cakes at Halloween. The actual act of trick-or-treating shares its origin with a Christmas tradition called Belschnickling. The Belschnickel will decide if you are impish are admirable. Jim Halpert, cheer of fear. <laughs> Welsh nickel is here. I judge a year as impish. Oh! Popular in the eastern states and Canada in the 18th and 19th century, this comes from the German Christmas custom of Pelschnickel. It involved adults in costumes performing tricks or simply frightening their neighbours' children, and being rewarded for their talents with treats. Number 1. Halloween is satanic. Halloween is occult. Halloween is devil worship. You've probably heard this before, especially if you grew up as a Christian in the USA. It's true that Halloween's roots are in pre-Christian traditions, but non-Christian Europeans didn't believe in the devil. Instead, to them, Halloween was a festival marking the end of the harvest and celebrating the memory of the dead. As the Catholic Church spread across Europe, it absorbed elements of other religions and often combined its own festivals with pagan ones. Early Eastern Christians celebrated the saints on May 13th. In AD 873, when Pope Gregory IV made November 1st the official All Saints Day, it helped remove any pagan overtones from Halloween parties. At the same time, Christianity associated all other gods with Satan. In the Jewish tradition, Satan was an angel who caused suffering for humans as a test of their faith in God. By the time Christianity came along, Satan had become the all-powerful devil who opposed God from the underworld, which took on the name of the Norse god who lived there, Hell. Because the pagan Halloween was about commemorating the dead who came from the underworld where Christians believed Satan lived, modern Christians started to associate it with devil worship, when in fact it's much more about remembering loved ones and eating food. Thanks for watching and we hope you learnt something new. If you enjoyed this video then please subscribe for our next release and check out our other videos here. See you next time.